hi guys welcome to another video on the bougie budget uk channel hope you're all doing well um today i'm going to do a cash stuffing so i've been paid for september now so i'm going to do a cash stuffing and we're going to do cash envelopes sinking funds saving challenges all that good stuff so yeah let's get into it i do just want to say before i start thank you for the love of my last video so i did a q a where i answered all your questions from the previous video and yeah you guys were so nice so sweet congratulations to vampire panda for winning the one year anniversary um giveaway that i did for an etsy voucher so they've received their voucher now and yeah hopefully either next time i hit a big milestone i will do an app giveaway so Outside of that, I am going to count. So I'm just making room. I'm going to count up my money for this month. I actually don't know how much is in here because I have taken some out to do various things. So I got paid at the beginning of the week. It's now the end of the week. And yeah, I needed to buy food to live and do other, a couple of other bits even. So I'm not 100% sure how much money's in here, but we will count it up and find out together. So we're gonna start with the 50s. Okay, so in 50s, I've got 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty. So fourteen, fifty, and then in twenties, got twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six, twenty, forty. And then in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then in fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. I've got some pound coins as well. So in pounds, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Mm. And then this one thousand pound placeholder in the back, which I won't touch because it might mess up my pens. That represents eight three five. So I know it's not eight hundred thirty five pounds, but use your imagination. That's what it represents today. So I've got three thousand one hundred and forty pounds to stuff. And we're going to start off with cash envelopes. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out 50, 75. So this is my, oh, June, July, August, I want to say, um, money from YouTube. So thank you for watching my videos, liking, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. I got paid this money uh beginning of the week as well i think yeah beginning of the week so i'm gonna put this somewhere so i'm just gonna separate it out so i remember um let's just put it up here shall we let's do that okay so cash envelopes food food i've already stuffed um so we're not gonna count that in this cash stuffing but i've already stuffed food 
because yeah like i said i needed food got paid at the beginning of the week didn't have time to cash stuff and film it until now so food is already in here and i've also got a 20 pound tesco's voucher that i got from some market research that i've done um i had more but i've been spending that voucher so i've got i'll count it for you i did a big food shop beginning of the week it's like the day i got paid when i did a big food shop so left over we've got 20 30 40 50 60 70 85 6 7 8 90 and then yeah that 20 pound voucher so not stuffing food if i can get this in properly there we go i just want to oh oh Yep, I'm recording. Okay, so fun is getting 80. I want to say, again, I spent some money. So this is me using my imagination. And I believe it's getting 80 because I've already bought my monthly scratch card and lottery ticket. And then I spent £10 on something. Oh, I bought, no. I spent £10 on something. If there's £10 left over at the end, I know it goes in here. So 20, 40... 60 80 i definitely spent 10 pounds on something i can't oh i do remember so i've spoken about it before how i i love the real housewives and all those bravo shows i love it one second my camera looks wonky one sec okay this probably made zero difference to you but it was bugging me okay so what's i saying oh so i spent 10 pounds on the lottery and then I spent £10 on an event that me and my sister are going to go to at the end of October. So I've mentioned before that I'm really into The Royal Housewives and Hey You, which is, I think they're the British or Australian, I don't know, streaming service that shows all of The Royal Housewives Bravo shows in the UK. They're having an event where some of the housewives are going to be there um, in London at the end of October. So yeah, me and my sister are going there. The tickets were only five pounds each. They just sold out really quickly. So luckily we were able to get to, and yeah, that's what I spent 10 pounds of my fun money on. Hair, why say the hair's getting 90? Oh, do you know what? <laughs> so I have a cheat sheet that I write out and my cheat sheet was on, Octo on uh, not October, on um august it's not august it's september isn't it so hair is not getting 90 hair is getting dun, 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 dun. i thought even marked up anyway sorry hair is getting 102 i'm just thinking that um because i made some changes to this cheat sheet and i bet you i made changes to the august one and not the september one typical okay so hair is getting 5102. I'm gonna get my hair done. The day before you see this video, I'm gonna put my hair done. So I need to pay for that with this money. And then, oh, this is a new one. This is a new category household. So this is gonna be for basically anything that I use to clean my house or clean the things in my house. So uh, that includes like when I did a big shop at Tesco's the other day, I got bin bags, um, the mop refill pads for the flash power mop. Uh, what else did I get? Dishwasher cleaner, washing machine cleaner. And I got something else. Can't remember what it was, but I got something else. All very exciting stuff. So, <laughs> because what I was doing was taking that money out of my um, groceries, or my food envelope and things are expensive right so got a new envelope it's gonna get 20 pound a month but i already spent like 17 pounds some change so that's what this little bit of change over here is for so i spent 17.70 and i've got two pounds 30 left and i'm gonna put that into household i shouldn't need anything you know this would like probably get me like an emergency roll of toilet paper if i needed it but other than that, I think I'm pretty good. Oh, I got some kitchen roll as well. I got some kitchen roll. So yeah, 
I don't need anything for the rest of this month, um, but if I do, I've got a whole £2.30 to get it with. Nails is going to be digital this month because the lady I go to now prefers a bank transfer. Um, pedicure is going to get 27. So 25. And two of these pound coins. I'm going to get a pedicure after my hair appointment. There we go. And then personal care is getting 50 as per. So 20, 40, and 50. And I actually have a basket on boots. This <laughs> I need to check out. So this money's probably going straight back in the bank. Because I need quite a few bits. I feel like every day something runs out. It's always something that needs to be bought. So I'm going to use personal care for that. And this is also a new envelope for buffer. So I don't actually have a buffer. I have a little bit of a buffer in my bank account, but I don't have, um, I haven't like purposely saved for a buffer or intentionally saved for a buffer is what I'm going to say. So I am going to start doing that mainly because, so I think this happens with most people. You get paid early in December. So in my company that I work in now, I get paid early in December, like a week early. Then they bring the January pay forward as well. So there's still four weeks between the December and the January payday. But then February is five weeks later. And I'm used to getting paid every like 28 to 30 days. So this buffer is gonna be for like, for that fifth week for food, really just food. It's not for me to go and get my nails done. You know, it's going to be like if I need food, if I need household, now that's in there, household bits, personal care, like something vital, like, I don't know, toothpaste, then I can get it from the buffer between January and February paydays. So I think the goal that I set myself is £100 for buffer, I think. Um, and I'm going to put £20 in today. So this money just has to be here by, what, January payday? End of, like, or like towards the end of Feb. So we're going to save up £100 in there. And that's all of the cash envelopes. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Put it over there. And then we're going to do long-term sinking funds. And we're going to only stuff two today. So we're going to stuff, obviously, the Beyonce fund. She's going to get 50. And I'll count these up in my end of month sinking funds saving challenges count up video um because there has been some activity in here so 50 in there and then 50 in the f off fund and i've taken bravo coin out because um i'm not really interested <laughs> even though i say i'm going to that hey you event it's in London, it's not that far from my house, so it's easy. But yeah, I'm not really thinking about saving up the money that it will cost for me to go to either. They've been having the BravoCon event in Vegas recently. So that would be a whole trip, plus the tickets, all of that. Not really in that head and headspace right now. Plus I'm going to New York in May, so yeah. Don't need too many trips to America. Um, short term sinking funds. Yeah, I did do that. I did exactly what I thought I did. I marked up my August, like I changed the August one as I was spending money. I didn't change the September one. Just so smart. Let me just, what I'm gonna do, let me just double check. 40. Dun -dun 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 -dun. You know what? I'm just gonna rip it out put over here so i can see both because yeah all right so the baby has nothing i've been spending a lot of money on the baby recently so usually he gets 50 but today he's going to get 40 because i bought him some books over the weekend so i'm going to put 40 pounds in here i bought him all of a sudden he's really into peppa pig so i bought him a peppa pig book and a bluey book 
eating out is going to get 50. So a 20 and 3 tenths. One, two, three. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Did I eat? Oh yeah, I did eat out. So some of this money's gonna come out. We do this thing at work <laughs> called um, a burger club. So once a month, a group of us at work go out and get a burger somewhere. Um, and we did that. When you're watching this, it'll be the Wednesday before we did that. So I need to take some money out of here. Um, gifts, 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 gifts. It's getting a hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. The next big gift that I need to buy is for my dad. He's turning 60 in a couple of months. So I am going to be putting money away for that. I don't know how we're celebrating. I know we are celebrating, obviously, because it's a big birthday, but I don't know how... I need to speak to my sister and see what we're going to do. Again, I'll count these up in the end of month count up video rather than in this video. Home is getting 30, 20 and 30. Haven't really been spending out of home. Since I've come back from holiday, I haven't bought any um, fresh flowers like I normally do. But actually, you guys might be able to help me. Where can I get some really good artificial flowers? I like fresh flowers, but they die. <laughs> and it's winter. Um, and where I put my fresh flowers is not in direct sunlight, so they die really quickly. So yeah, let me know where I can get some good quality, not like super expensive as well. Um, artificial flowers in the comments, please. Um, shopping is getting 190. So it was gonna get 200. But I bought some books from the works. I have a habit of, anytime I go to my local shopping centre, town centre, I will go into the works and they've always got a good selection of books for like cheap prices. So I just always buy, I always end up buying something. And it's on the way to m because I go to m to get my fruit and veg and it's on the way there. So I'm just like, oh, I might as well stop and have a look. And I always buy something. Um, so I got, and I haven't read all the books I have, <laughs> so I'm just adding to, to my to be read pile, which I need to stop doing. So I'm putting 190 into shopping. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. I do want to build this up because Black Friday is fast approaching. So I've got two more paydays before Black Friday. I've got tabs on my computer of things that I would like to buy, mainly gym clothes, to be honest. And I want to have a good chunk of money in here to be ready when the sales start. Um, work lunches. I need to flip the page on this one. Uh, dun 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 dun. Eighty pounds going into work lunches. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. I did go to Itsu on one of the days I was at work this week. But it wasn't, I don't know, maybe I eat it too much because it wasn't It wasn't hitting the same as it normally does. So I might need to um, mix it up a little bit because I pretty much go there all the time. Every time I'm at work, I go to Witsu. So I might need to switch it up. Um, coffee is getting 30 pounds. So I did empty this out to do a big coffee order when I got back from Portugal. And we need to build it up again. Although I've got enough coffee probably to last me until the end of the year now. But when it's colder, I like to have an afternoon coffee as well, but like a flavored one. So uh, espresso have a, I think it's a, is it called maple pecan? I don't know, but it tastes like, um, not wheaty, but like, I don't know how to describe it. it tastes cereal, cereal, cereal. Wow, that's, that's a word, cereally. Like cereal. <laughs> oh god, yeah, it tastes like cereal, kind of. I don't know, it's got those notes or whatever you want to call it when it comes to coffee. So I um I like to have one of those in the afternoon when it gets a bit colder. 
which adds to the the cost easter is getting 15 i just need to get this tracker out oh tracker and the money so 15 pounds into easter i'm really aiming to get this completed by the end of the year i know easter is not until when is it april but i don't know something in me is just like i just want to get these challenges done and then start new ones um each is a fiver so one two three and then once it's done you know i can move on and be like oh, okay or i can reallocate that money to something else so yeah i'm just i'm in the mood to complete as many challenges as possible so i'm probably gonna stuff that one again either with some side hustle money if i get it this month or just allocate more money to it next payday um do i need to dry the tracker no the tracker's fine i can go back in so that's easter personal training another one that's going to go straight back into the bank probably because i need to uh, for my next set of training sessions so today i'm going to add 200 which is going to be 50 100 50 200 i'm going to add this in i might count this up just because i need to tick off the tracker don't i so each one is 25 yeah each one's 25 so let me just count it so we've got 51, 52, 53, 20, 30. And 330 divided by 25 is 13. And I use a pencil. I knew that was going to happen. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me rub it out. Sorry, you're shaking. Sorry. And that's a bit better. Yeah, I need to pay for my next block of on training sessions. So I'm going to put that money, some of that money, don't need all of that into the bank and do that well this is not pretty anymore uh, better okay um who do we have next we've got microsoft and she is getting six pounds five six is almost done i really just keep this subscription going so i can use excel for my um budgeting spreadsheet <gasps> oh no i thought it was done oh i got excited <laughs> i thought it was done we've got one more oh my god just stay down that's fine um we've got one more one more at the end of october and then we will be done. Although, I need to check the renewal date of that. I think it's fine. I think I've calculated it properly. Calculated it properly. Um, subscriptions is getting 35. Oh, this one is done though. This one is completed. Yay. Okay. So... This one is all done for another year. I don't have to do that again until I think when I get paid in December, I want to say. Because December salary is January's money, I think. But that is complete. Yay. I'm trying to think what my next subscription is. And I didn't add the money, so it's not technically completed. So uh, what have I got next? I think it's my Apple Care for my computer. Pretty sure that's what this is for because it's 
yeah it is because i bought yeah yeah so that's what this money is going towards and i can unstuff that in the sinking funds and saver challenges counter video okay and then the last sinking fund we're going to do which i think is also complete is it i'm saying these things but it's not i don't even know if that's the right money <laughs> anyway i thought i was putting 15 pounds in here but i'm putting in 10 according to my sheet which is two fives do you know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to break my own rule. I'm just going to count it while we're here. Uh, let's just count what we've got. Okay, so in prime, we've got 20, 40, 30, 50 even, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, it must be. I can't be putting in £5 next month. It's 95. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to put it five run so 20 40 50 60 70 80 95 another one done oh let me take all of these off done oh okay so that's my prime subscription. Yeah, because it's due, I'm pretty sure it's due like mid October and I get paid at the back end of October. So this must be all done. Yes, okay. It's going well, it's going well. All right. Lastly, saving challenges. And we're still recording, good. It's been a long time since my camera's cut out on me. <laughs> Let me not jinx it though. All right, saving challenges, Christmas. So I'm gonna put this 75 pounds that I got from YouTube. Again, thank you. Appreciate you guys watching my videos. And I'm gonna put the normal 75 pounds that I usually stuff into Christmas as well. So it should be 150 here. So 51. 20, 40, 45, 50. I'm gonna add that into here. And I might need to count this up for the tracker, I think. Yeah. You usually do have to count the same challenges up twice. I have started buying Christmas presents. Obviously, <laughs> just for my nephew. Um, what have I bought him? I bought him a pair of trainers. Um, I bought him a tracksuit. I got him an, a bluey advent calendar and I got him something else. What did I get that little boy? That might be it, might be it. So what I'm thinking is like, I'm gonna allocate him or budget him like 200 pounds, I think. Half of that money will go on practical things that he doesn't really care about. So clothes and the trainers that I bought him. And then half of it will go on fun stuff. I have all the stuff like in tabs on my computer. I just, again, Black Friday is coming. So I might as well wait, see if I can get them for cheaper or if a sale comes up beforehand and then I'll just wait and buy them then. I'm also thinking, and this is me being extra and I don't care. Um, is it a thing to like give kids a like, I don't know, a happy December, I don't know, gift? <laughs> or box i don't know so i'm thinking i i'm gonna give him the advent calendar at the beginning of december obviously and then and the advent calendar is actually educational because it's all books so it's a justified purchase and then i also bought him a bluey um, hat gloves and scarf set from mns that i want to give him in this happy december you know i don't know it's 25 days to christmas countdown gift um I want to get him something else. So is that a thing? Do people, whether it be for your kids or for nephews, nieces, godparent, godkids, whatever, do you give them a little treat at the beginning of December to welcome in the Christmas season? Or is that a new tradition that I should start in my family? Because I feel like it. 
so <laughs> yeah so i don't actually have 500 pounds in the bank there's maybe i want to say about 370 now based on what i've spent on him oh and i bought myself a gift actually i bought myself a christmas mug from anthropology which was i'm sure i spent like 20 pounds on it but it's so beautiful i put a picture in it's gorgeous um and i think that i pre-ordered it so it won't come until october like mid-october so yeah I, I bought myself a gift as well but yeah there's like 370 in christmas but this is going to represent the total that i've saved we're not gonna we're not gonna play about with taking placeholders in and out and all that so i've saved 500 and then in cash i've got 50 150 2 20 40 5 50 so there's 750 all together and only 150 left which is two more months um where's my little oh uh not me thinking i can do mental maths let me 750 divided by 36 20 which is going to take us up to the end right 5 10 15 20 yeah cool there we go all right i messed up one of them a little bit but it's fine it's fine so 750 in christmas which is fab fab all right holidays is getting 360. so as per i think i've done my last payment now yeah i made my last payment on my half of the hotel that we stayed in we went to zanti in july i paid that off now um i'll put a screenshot up so i paid 290 and i'm gonna add 360 to this in cash so 50 one 50 2 50 3 50 and dun dun dun, 10 360 i'm actually not going to count this up because i know i've gone over the tracker now the track is complete actually so yeah I'm not going to count this up i'll leave this for the next video but i'm going to obviously add the money in in order and i think the same way that i'm doing for like shopping and christmas i need to book my flight to new york and hotel i want to see what deals they've got around black friday and new year's as well probably new year's because I've got until May, so I've got time. But we shall see. House deposit. So remember, we were using our imagination to say that this was a thousand. This was eight hundred and thirty-five pounds, and not a thousand. So we're going to add this in, and I think my total now is seven thousand five hundred and fifteen pounds that I've saved up this year so far. So that's why I can add in a thousand um i'll put a screenshot up so you'll see two screenshots you'll see my lifetime isa which i put four thousand pounds of this money into but the total will be higher because i put money in previous years interest bonuses all of that good stuff and then you'll also see a screenshot of the savings account i'm using with money box to put in the rest of the money for the year so yeah five thousand six thousand seven thousand 500 and then again we're gonna use our imagination for that 15 pounds that is somewhere so houses need to be colored in and we need 75 houses so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 5 all right get my purple and get coloring It's so crazy to think that at the beginning of the year, this was a blank tracker. And now I've got 75 houses all coloured in. Only 25 more to go. And then I've done 10 grand this year. 
Um, Luxy Luxy is getting 160, 160. So 50, 150, and a tenner. Do I need any more tens? No. No. Okay. So 50, 150, 60. I usually put 170 in, but if I put 170 in for 12 months, I think it would take me to like 2,040. So I'm reducing it by 10 pounds because we're looking to save about 5,000, not 5,000, 2,000 pounds. <laughs> we're going to save 2,000 pounds and I could do something else with that tenner. Or well, that 40 pounds even. Put this all in i'm not going to count it this doesn't represent all the money that i've saved over the year because i have spent it on things okay where is my pen so let's do what did i do 160. that's annoying isn't it because no matter what i do mm, Usually it's 170, it's easy. Let's do 110. Yeah, no matter what I do, it's all gonna be 170. Let's do 120. You're probably screaming, saying, no, do this, do that. We're just gonna do 120. And then that makes 170, that makes 180. What did I stuff? 160. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> it's too, it's too much. We're just going to leave it. It'll be 2000 in the end, it's fine. Um, my birthday, she's getting 50. And there. And then I keep on putting that pen away, but I, I'm gonna use it again. Um, where are we, where are we, where are we? Is each one 50? That's not right, is it? And no one told me. <laughs> 4, 8, 12, 16. Each one being 50 doesn't make sense. Why don't you guys tell me? Um, gold is 500 divided by 16 makes 3125. That rings a bell, so I'm I need to change that. Um, and this is laminated, right? Yeah. So if it's 3125, I think I've got. Mm, 150 in there? Yeah, I've got 150 in here. 150. 4.8. Okay. Easy. Four. Why don't you guys tell me that I messed up the maths on this? Or did I mention it in a video? I don't know. 3125 is ringing a bell. So maybe I was supposed to go back and change it. I forgot. I need to do that. And then tech is fully funded. Emergency fund is getting 300. 51, 52, 53. I'm missing a 50. God, am I? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ignore me. <laughs> 300. Um, where's my pen? Wrong pen. Black. All right. So three hundred. Okay. Three hundred pound is going into emergency fund, and then. Disney. So this is a Disney trip that I'm going to take my nephew on in 
2027 when he's five years old. I'm going to Disneyland Paris. And this year, towards this trip, I'm saving a thousand pounds. So all these 20s should be 80, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yep. And I'd have so many fives. I know what I've done. <laughs> I know exactly what I've done. I went to the bank the other day and I had some money to put back in the bank. And then I was also withdrawing the money for this cash stuffing. So I'm not the type of person, it, like my brain doesn't compute putting money in the bank and then taking, no, keeping the money that I need to put in the bank, keeping that money and then taking out, oh, I'm not explaining this properly. You know what I mean? You got money that goes in the bank, you wanna take money out of the bank. So you just take out less from the bank and then put the money that was supposed to go back in the bank for the cash stuffing. You know what I mean? My brain can't compute that. My brain can't even explain it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. I have to put the money in the bank and then withdraw everything that I need. Um, and some of these, all of these fives, a hell of a lot of fives, need to go back in the bank. So we'll just keep those there. I just got my money mixed up. All right. So we're pulling in 85. Let me make sure 20, 40, 60, 85. All the 20s. And a five. Oh, and I was thinking, when I put the money in the bank, I was thinking, why? Where's the rest of it? I had it. That's fine. I've got to put money in the bank anyway, so it's fine. So, do I need to count this up for the tracker? Yes. And I need to make sure five, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. All right. Let me count this up. So, 500 in the bank plus some interest, you might see. And then 50, 70, 90, 110, or 610, uh, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 760, 765. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So again, we are very close to our first 1,000 pounds. And I'm saving off this so slowly because I've got what? Another two years. So I'm going to save up a thousand pounds this year. And then I think I've budgeted for £1,500 next year and £1,500 the year after. So we'll have four grand for this trip. Um, I said 765, didn't I? I don't even think I need to do this on the calculator, but I will. So two castles are getting coloured in today. And I like this tracker. This is from Cashbook Q. I like this tracker because I can um, take it off and then go again. For next year, I don't need to buy another tracker. Okay, and then last but not least, we are going to do my Save 200, which is almost done. Almost. I've got a load of change here. I'm not even going to roll the dice. Should I roll the dice? Oh, sugar. And put this away. Um, let's roll the dice. Doesn't really matter, I'm gonna put all the money in there anyway. Because I want to get this done. Four. Um, I don't have four in there. And six. I nearly swore. <laughs> don't have six here, but we can find six. We can do two. Sorry if this is ridiculously loud. We can do three. Um, so it was six. Let me just put this in. Put this in. Oh, this should really open. Here. And my cash envelopes. So what did I do? I put three in, didn't I? Uh, that was somewhere. No, I'm gonna take it from here. So from food, I'm gonna take out three pounds. Okay. So another three pounds going in. There isn't, obviously, obviously, you can see there isn't 200 pounds in here. So I've been using this money for my weekly gym sessions, gym sessions, gym sessions, where I do my weekly 
group PT, which is not the same as the other PT folder that I or envelope that I have. That's for one-to-one -one PT. And I all very interesting and complicated. Um, so actually I get to take off this row. And that means my I just realized that means my total this cash stop is not correct. I'll amend it. It'll be in the it'll be in the title on the thumbnail. Um, so that's that. So we've got what 11 11 14 14 18 pounds to go thank god <laughs> i want that one to be done and then lastly and change i've got 20 40 60 80 a pound 27 so at one pound twenty-seven, which I'm going to the spare change jar, and usually I put this money towards a um, extra contribution to my stocks and shares. I saw probably still will, but just isn't as much in there now because again I took them out to do do my PT. All right, so that is that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's long, but I've been I haven't filmed in like a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Again, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And again, congratulations to Vampire Panda for winning my one year anniversary giveaway. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you are having an amazing weekend and you have a great week ahead and I will see you back here next week Sunday for more of the same. Take care guys. Bye.